Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Fairhope Brewing Company. They're out of Fairhope, Alabama. And uh, Rico sent me this. So evidently, I have not seen this beer here in Virginia. So evidently, they're shipping it up toward Rico's way in Pennsylvania or New York area. Uh, so, uh, don't think I've had anything from these guys at Fairhope before. This is their Take the Causeway IPA. And guys, they're calling it uh, a regular IPA, but it's 8.2%. To me, that's into the Imperial or Double IPA range. So, that's what I would consider it. So, uh, I don't know what the cutoff is there. Once you get into the 8% and above, I consider that a Double or Imperial IPA. So, the, uh, the IBUs here on Rape Beer says it's 80, uh, is at 69. And it does have a date on the bottle. It looks like it's 1030 of 18, 8.2% uh, alcohol. It's written on the side of the label, and it's got a little box here for them to print it. The month is just about off of the little yellow area in the center of the green where the month is hard to see, but it looks like it's 10, but it's hard to see because uh, most of it is into the green area here. And with black writing, I can, dark green, I can't see it. But I think it's 1030. Uh, 16. Looks like it's 10:30-18, but it's hard to, hard for me to see. Uh, it says Lower Alabama's Craft Brewery, and it's got a pelican on there with a hat with fishing lures all over it, and he's got a vest with a bunch of fishing stuff on it. So uh, let me take a quick look here and see if he's got any more information that we need uh, Fairhope takes the causeway April 20 American Brewery, Alabama the date is on the label right by the barcode looks like the printer messed up on it I see the day and year I can't see I see I see the day and year 3016 I can't make it the month either a 10 or a 9 I'm not sure and I can't see it either because it's out of the little yellow box there on the side it's into the dark green label said so he picked it up last week you do know the beer store just got these in, so take that with a grain of salt. And I do that here. I mean, just because it just showed up this week doesn't mean it had to sit in the warehouse for three months. So, uh, we'll see what it brings to the table. And he's still got the price tag on the top of here, what he paid for it. $2.50 each, which is not a bad price if you're buying singles uh, for an 8.2 percenter. So, uh, we will see. We shall see. Uh... And it says here, commercial description previously of 6.5 and 75 IBUs. So, uh, I don't see how they've gone from 6.5 to 8.2. And the IBUs uh, have dropped from 75 on the 6.5 to 69 on the 8.2. And I don't see the IBUs written on here anywhere, guys. So, let me step over to Untap because they seem to have more current information. They're saying 56 IBUs for an 8.2 percenter. So, for an 8.2 percenter, that's very low IBUs. Uh, the one we did yesterday was 82, and it was only 6.6. .6, and this is an 8.2. So, shouldn't have a whole lot of bitterness going on with this beer. So, that's all we need to talk about. So, while I pop the cap on this, and while I grab this opener here, this is the last opener that I've got. Placing an order this week. Uh, if you need an opener or a t-shirt for a Christmas present, let me know. I should have a bunch of new colors in shortly. And uh, right now I've only got a green one. 
So uh, if you need a green one immediately, let me know. We can get it shipped out or a t-shirt. I am out of the larges in the white and the black. I don't know why that particular one run out quicker this time. Usually it's the extra large or the two X's that run out quicker. But I'm out of the larges. So if you need any other size shirt, probably got it. All right, guys, so we're going to get this into the glass. Cuisine is curry in a tie. Cheese of pepper, Monterey pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar. Stronger cheeses, gorgonzola limburger. The meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I'll add grilled meat to that. Flash water to pint, back and night, tumbler mug, sign, sidel. I'm using my favorite tulip glass and not recommended for sin and cellar. About a half a finger of head on that pour. And it's got a chill haze on it. I can see the light through the thin part of the glass. I would think this is a filtered beer, guys. Let's get a nose on it. does have a very nice hot presence. I'm getting a citrusy. I'm getting hints of pine, maybe a little grapefruit in there. It's not super pungent, but it's uh, it's more than we had from the rogue beer yesterday. Very nice smelling beer. Yep, yeah, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Very nice, very easy drinking. This is almost like an imperial pale with only 52, uh, 56 IBUs. Not very bitter at all. So uh, if you wanted to get into an IPA, and especially a bigger IPA, an 8.2%, uh, uh, this may be the one to jump into where the bitterness is not going to be too strong for you. If you can get this. Like I said, I haven't seen it here. Very easy drinking for it at 8.2%. Bitterness are very, very subdued. A very nice, easy drinking, if you will. I wouldn't call it session at 8.2%, but very well made. I'm not getting any alcohol on the taste. Very well done. Kind of impressive. I like the balance of this beer. It doesn't have 100 plus IBUs where if you're not a seasoned uh, IPA drinker or a double IPA drinker, uh, your palate won't be able to tolerate. This is big alcohol with low bitterness. So, very well done. Well, let me sip on it, let her have a sip or two, and we'll come back and see where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. The other half loved it, and it's a pretty tasty beer. It's, it's very nice. And they've got the date on there, and they just need to adjust their little dating machine type deal so it gets that date in that yellow box that's on the label instead of running it off onto the dark green part of the label where you can't see that black ink that they're putting on there. So that's just a little just a little fuss that I've got. So they are making that attempt, though. I mean, uh, we would like to see that month so we don't know exactly whether it was January or October. Uh, so, it's a tasty beer. Low IBUs for an 8.2%. So, very nice citrusy notes. Low bitterness on it. Kind of easy drinking. It may be a great beer to go from a pale ale into an IPA. Even though it's a little bit bigger in ABV at 8.2, the IBUs are very low at 56. So, uh, Kind of easy drinking for an, an IPA or an, what I consider a double IPA at 8.2 percent. I like it. Final choke. A little bit of grapefruit in there. Not a lot. More citrusy than anything else. Maybe you can with some tangerine in there. Uh, very nice beer, guys. It is a very nice beer. Uh, at $250, uh, that's probably the single price. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to be $15 for a six pack of this. Uh, at 8.2%, it may be in a four pack. So, that's why I'm thinking. And a lot of times, the doubles are, are the imperial versions. Anything that's 8% or bigger, a lot of times comes in a four pack instead of a six pack, but not always. So, uh, very tasty, guys. Uh, other than 
the month not being able to sing, it's a very enjoyable beer, guys. Would like to see them put the IBUs on there, but that's not critical. Uh, I'd like to see it on the IPA or double IPA. It's uh, it lets you know how how much bitterness you're going to get, and it is. And I've had subscribers say IBUs are unimportant, and that's bullshit. It is important. Are you drinking a, a beer like this that's 56 IBUs, which is not going to have a heavy bitterness on the back end? Or are you drinking an 8.2% that's 100 IBUs, which is going to have a large bitterness on, on the back end? So if you're saying the IBUs are not important, you got your head up your ass. So that's how I feel about it. You might not agree with me, but that's my two cents. So it, it lets you know how bitter the beer is going to be that you're drinking. So, uh, I, and like I said, I've had people saying, uh, because I used to dock grade points for not having it on the IPAs and the double IPAs, which may not be fair, but it lets you know as, as a buyer or how bitter the beer is going to be that you're buying. So, get a grasp. Get a grasp. Uh, it does make a difference. So, are you are you wanting to drink something that's heavily bittered, or you want to drink something that's in the pale ale range like this one is to me? So, it lets you know how bitter the beer is going to be. So. Another reason why I like to see the date, the ABB, and the IBUs on a pale on, on a on a pale ale too, because I've had pale ales that were in the 80 IBUs and tasted like IPAs because of the bitterness. So it just gives us more information to make an educated decision whether to buy the beer or not, and what we can expect when we open it up and pour it in a glass and drink it. So that's my two cents. So. Uh, to me, guys, this is a very tasty beer. Uh, I don't think it's quite to the A category. Uh, I'm going to give it to B+. Plus. It's right on the door of it, though, and I am impressed with the low I IBUs on this beer. makes it very easy drinking for somebody that's not into the uh, heavy bitter uh, IPAs or double IPAs. So That's what I think about the beer. I love the the low bitterness of it, so somebody that's trying to get from a pale ale to an IPA and not have 70, 80, 90 IBUs or a double IPA, which I consider this beer to be an 8.2%, uh, what to expect. So, numeric rating on this guy would probably be an 89. It's right on the door of an A. They did attempt to put the date on it, but they need to adjust that machine a little bit. And it'd be nice to have those IBUs on there because that would determine what if I wasn't a seasoned IPA drinker, and if it said it had 56 uh, IBUs, I said, well, maybe I, my palate can tolerate that. So, uh, that's how I feel about it. So, 89 for me, B+, plus, uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 90, outstanding range. I'm only one number away from that. Wouldn't argue with that number one bit. Uh, and if I could read the date on the, uh, the month on the bottle, if we got the day in the year, I may even step up and give it that 90. But not being able to see that month, uh, it could be an 01 or it could be an o, it could be a 10, it could be January or it could be uh, October. So need to see that month. So uh, over to uh, Great Beer has it at 85 overall, 71 in the style. I'm not gonna argue with that number. 85 is a good number, but I think it's my opinion is just a couple notches above that. And for our final check-in, we'll run up to Untapped, and Untapped has it at 3.83, which is in their B-plus range. Absolutely, I agree with that. It's a B-plus beer to me, too. So I agree with the guys at Untapped. Uh, it's a B-plus beer. So if you've had this one from uh, Fair Hope Brewing, uh, this is their uh, Take the Causeway IPA. And my personal opinion, it's a double or imperial IPA at 8.2%. But it drinks like a regular IPA. It really does. It's very easy drinking for that, that big of an ABV. So, very well done. All right, guys. If you've had let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's fix up my other fridge. See you then.